Hi, I want to demonstrate how to glaze work that has transfer, newspaper transfer, or complex drawn imagery, even with underglazes on it, without damaging the surface of the pot or smearing the imagery. As you can see, these have rather complex images, and what they are is the bottom half is newspaper transfers and they tend to be a little light even though they have been bisqued if I rub them with my finger I can smear them a little and the top half has slip trailed uh, black underglaze drawings that I did um, and these are probably less likely to smear but if you have done this and not bisqued first, they're extremely likely to either smear or to run when you're pouring a water-based glaze over them or even worse, brushing a water-based glaze over them. So I want to show you how you can glaze them without disturbing your imagery. So the first thing I'm going to do is pour the inside, pour a clear glaze on the inside of the mug and I always dampen the mug first just to improve the clay glaze fit and in case there's any dust, dust down there. So I'm going to pour the glaze in, in and I like to use the measuring cup right up to the surface of the pot and then just turn it so you get the whole inside covered without making a mess there and then once the inside is covered I would start working on the outside and the way I do it is take a a small round sponge and you want it to be somewhat dry and you want to dip it into the glaze and sort of wring it out. So you're dipping it in and wringing it back out. And you so you have a fair amount of glaze on the sponge. And I've just mixed this bowl of glaze so it's quite thick. And then what you want to do is just gently pat. Like you're putting powder on your face. You want to gently pat the surface straight on. Don't do any rubbing of any kind. You're just patting it straight onto the surface. And what this does is seal the, the surface in place without getting it wet. So you want to do this all the way around and take your time so that you really are getting a good even coverage. And just keep rinsing out your sponge so you're getting more of the, the thicker glaze on there and not so much water because you really don't want a lot of water on here for this process. So you go all the way around and then you can go back and take a look. In fact, it's easy to see on here that this the bottom part has enough glaze on it. The top doesn't. In fact, it looks a little dripped. So I'm going to reapply over the black drawing. And you want to do this until it's thick enough that it really does look uniformly covered. The whole, the whole surface looks uniformly covered. And you might want to give it a minute to dry in between. And you can always add another layer. When the surface, the whole thing looks uniformly dry, and I'm going to get this stuff on the handle too. At that point, you can do another layer. You can pour the outside because you will by then have sealed your entire surface so you're not in any danger of dragging your image. So I hope that helps. Good luck.